how to save your prompt, your settings and your disk space. Also, don't forget about my live stream and my Facebook group. Hello, my friends, how are you doing? In this video, I want to show you something that is almost magical. This is for the Stable Diffusion local install automatic 1111. Here is the install guide on how to get it on your drive. So the situation is as follows. You have created a beautiful render and you want to go on with this kind of project. But how do you know the settings and the prompt you used and the seed and all these kind of things? A little bit of that is in the file name, but often not all of that. So here is how to do this a lot better. In the web UI, go to settings and then down here, when you scroll here on the left side, you see here you have the option to save text information about generation parameters as chunks to PNG files. Now this also works with JPEG files and this will save all of your information, the prompt, the settings, the parameter inside of the file as EXIF information. You can also make a check mark here next to create a text file next to every image with generation parameters. I would not suggest that because you get, first of all, a lot of files, but also very lost in what kind of text file belongs to which image. Also, there is no thumbnail in the text. When you have done this, be sure to click here on apply settings. So this is actually working. Now the next step is go to your PNG info over here, search for the file you want the information from. This is only for the files you have created after you applied that setting, of course, and then simply drag this in here. And you can see now over here, I have the complete prompt and then also I have all of my settings. Now you would think, okay, I have to go back and forward between these pages to set everything up again. No, you don't, because you can go like this, select everything, control copy, go to image to text, click in the prompt box, copy V to paste it in here. And then here with this little blue arrow, click on that. And you see that all of the settings have been applied. The seed has been filled in here and the prompt is now just the prompt up here. Now here's also a word of warning. This does not work with the upscales. As you can see, here is no information in here other than the upscale model. So only the original file that has been created by the render method of either text to text or image to image will have all of the prompt and setting information in here. So don't throw the originals away. And here's also how to save on disk space. Go into settings again. And here you can set the file format. And I changed mine from PNG, which is pretty large, to JPEG for my images, but also for the image grids down here. Don't forget about the image grids. And then when you scroll down here a little bit, you can also set the quality for your JPEG image. In my case, you can see that this file only has 68 kilobytes. And the upscale, which is 2048 by 3072, only has 697 kilobyte because also now it is JPEG. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and share it with your friends so they can save their prompts too. See you soon. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah, I wish you a good weekend.